Good morning and welcome to Daily Morning Prayer. This is for Tuesday, March 1st, and we are gathered together in the name of the Blessed and Holy Trinity. Amen. Our psalm for this morning is Psalm, oh, excuse me, let's do uh, our song first, uh, and that will be hymn number 526, God is here, and this time we'll sing the final verse, which is the fourth verse. Lord of all of church and kingdom, in an age of change and doubt, keep us faithful to the gospel. Help us work your purpose out. Here in this day's dedication, all we have to give, receive. We who cannot live without you, we adore you, we believe. Our quote for this morning comes from the Reverend Martin Luther King Jr., and it is from his sermon, Beyond Vietnam. When machines and computers, profit motives, and property rights are considered more important than people, the giant triplets of racism, materialism, and militarism are incapable of being conquered. Our psalm for this morning is Psalm 35, verses 11 through 28. Malicious witnesses rise up. They ask me about things I do not know. They repay me evil for good. My soul is forlorn. But as for me, when they were sick, I wore sackcloth. I afflicted myself with fasting. I prayed with head bowed on my bosom, as though I grieved for a friend or a brother. I went about as one who laments for a mother, bowed down and in mourning. But at my stumbling, they gathered in glee. They gathered together against me. Ruffians whom I did not know tore at me without ceasing. They impiously mocked more and more, gnashing at me with their teeth. How long, O Lord, will you look on? Rescue me from their ravages, my life from the lions. Then I will thank you in the great congregation. In the mighty throng, I will praise you. Do not let my treacherous enemies rejoice over me, or those who hate me without cause wink the eye. For they do not speak peace, but they conceive deceitful words against those who are quiet in the land. They open wide their mouths against me. They say, Aha, aha, our eyes have seen it. You have seen, O Lord, do not be silent. O Lord, do not be far from me. Wake up, bestir yourself for my defense, for my cause, my God and my Lord. Vindicate me, O Lord, my God, according to your righteousness, and do not let them rejoice over me. Do not let them say to themselves, Aha, we have our heart's desire. Do not let them say, We have swallowed you up. Let all those who rejoice at my calamity be put to shame and confusion. Let those who exalt themselves against me be clothed with shame and dishonor. Let those who desire my vindication shout for joy and be glad, and say evermore, Great is the Lord who delights in the welfare of his servant. Then my tongue shall tell of your righteousness and of your praise all day long. Our Old Testament reading comes from Ezekiel, the first chapter, verses 1 through 14. In the thirtieth year, in the fourth month, on the fifth day of the month, as I was among the exiles by the river Chebar, the heavens were opened, and I saw visions of God. On the fifth day of the month, it was the fifth year of the exile of King Jehoiakim, The word of the Lord came to the priest Ezekiel, son of Buzi, in the land of the Chaldeans by the river Chebar, and the hand of the Lord was on him there. As I looked, a stormy wind came out of the north, a great cloud with brightness around it and fire flashing forth continually, and in the middle of the fire something like gleaming amber. In the middle of it was something like four living creatures. This was their appearance. They were of human form. Each had four faces, and each of them had four wings. Their legs were straight, and the soles of their feet were like the sole of a calf's foot, and they sparkled like burnished bronze. Under their wings, on their four sides, they had human hands, and the four had their faces and their wings thus. Their wings touched one another, each of them moved straight ahead without turning as they moved. As for the appearance of their faces, the four had the face of a human being. 
the face of a lion on the right side, the face of an ox on the left side, and the face of an eagle. Such were their faces. Their wings were spread out above, and each creature had two wings, each of which touched the wing of another while two covered their bodies. Each moved straight ahead wherever the spirit would go. They went without turning as they went. In the middle of the living creatures was something that looked like burning coals of fire, like torches moving to and fro among the living creatures. The fire was bright, and lightning issued from the fire. The living creatures darted to and fro like a flash of lightning. <clears throat> Our New Testament reading comes from the book of Acts, chapter 10, verses 23 through 33. So Peter invited them in and gave them lodging, that is, the servants who came from Cornelius. The next day he got up and went with them, and some of the believers from Joppa accompanied him. The following day they came to Caesarea. Cornelius was expecting them and had called together his relatives and close friends. On Peter's arrival, Cornelius met him, and falling at his feet, worshipped him. But Peter made him get up, saying, Stand up, I am only a mortal. And as he talked with them, he went in and found that many had assembled. And he said to them, You yourselves know that it is unlawful for a Jew to associate with or to visit a Gentile. But God has shown me that I should not call anyone profane or unclean. So when I was sent for, I came without objection. Now may I ask why you sent for me? Cornelius replied, Four days ago, at this very hour at three o'clock, I was praying in my house, when suddenly a man in dazzling clothes stood before me. He said, Cornelius, your prayer has been heard and your alms have been remembered before God. Send therefore to Joppa and ask for Simon, who is called Peter. He's staying in the home of Simon a Tanner by the sea. Therefore, I sent for you immediately, and you have been kind enough to come. So now all of us are here in the presence of God to listen to all that the Lord has commanded you to say. Gathered into one by the Holy Spirit, let us pray as Jesus taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord's, the Lord's face shine upon you with grace and mercy. The Lord look upon you with favor and give you peace. Amen.